So I finally got some boxes that I've been waiting for a long time for. Let's um, go check out what I got. So we've got some new wheels and a load of pedals to go on bikes. Um, let's go check them out. I've already put the pedals on my e-bike. But um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Look at these boys. They're looking good. Stay around. Very nice, didn't it? So go on e-bike nicely. And then I've got some uh, some carbon ones to go on the uh, on the normal trail bike. So we'll have a look at them in a bit. But yeah, let's get these. Done. Well, the tyre change went surprisingly easy, really quick. Tyre flew on, hopefully that means it's sealed well enough, but seems fine for now. So, next job, put the cassette and the disc on and check it back on. Nearly forgot. Need to chuck this little bad boy back on it. We'll see if we can get the front one a bit quicker. Should be a lot easier. Just a distance change from the car. as well. The max tire right now. Just gotta change the disc now. So there we have it. E-bike with some Crown Brothers goodies on it. The uh, Stamp 7 pedals, I think they are. And then we got the Crown Brothers wheels as well. Look at that. Spinning like a dream. Brothers Simples E bike 27 and a half specific wheels. So, yeah, pretty excited to go give these a go. See how the uh, compliant front and stiffer rear go on the e bike. Should be pretty good, I reckon. And stoked to get these new paddles.
at the size of them. Huge. Nice long pins in there. Should be good crap. Cat colour. Just out for a spot of e-biking. Have a for it. Test out these new paddles. And the wheels as well. Just in the woods, ready to do the first little trail ride down now. This one's great. I'm gonna do a steep one down here. Um the mellow one, it's that one night to itself, film edit on. Um Click up here if you want to see that. Learn on this YouTube, you see. Um, but yeah, we'll do this cheap one now. Maybe come back up and do the other one. It's only quick with eBay. Um, but yeah, and then we're going to move on to the other hill. There's a track which I like doing. I've only done it a few times, and there's like a bush which is right out, a real awkward bit. So I'm going to go. I've got a little folding saw in here. I'm going to prune it a little bit and make another trail around here a bit more uh, ready to go. Um, Another good thing I just noticed down on that little run. I had a bit of a rattle going on last time I rode this. Um, so I just took the top of the chain device thing off, the chain guide. It's only one of them top mount ones. And I just stuck a bit of that 3M sticky tape stuff on, like thick, kind of soft rubber. And uh, yeah. I didn't really think about it until the end where it gets a bit rough, but yeah, the bike fell a lot quieter, which is ideal really, so yeah, let's try the other one and go from there. Glasses were a mistake in the woods. Usually I'd have a clear lens in, but it's pretty bright today. But then, crazy dark in the woods, I need something that's in between. If anyone's got any recommendations, it'd be pretty cool. It's like big off camber rock and the main line goes down there but then it shoots off and kind of can't stay on track so just clear a little line out on the top which I think is the main line up here. 
over the rocks and damage that rock. Probably just me riding it. I think I'll hold off giving a in-depth review on what I think of the wheels just yet because obviously I'm only riding it on my local trails which aren't super rough and uh, nothing too challenging but from what I've seen so far they're um, handling everything I've thrown at them really well. The tyres went on to them really good and pumped up pretty easy and now a few rides later I've had no issues, airs held really good in the in the wheels. Hopefully we'll be able to ride somewhere with a bit more technicality, something which is going to test them a little bit more, but yeah, really happy with how they're working so far. Mm -hmm. 